Hello, I'm Dr. Igor Simonov and today I will continue talk about the 53rd difficulty of uh, Nanzin and I will explain how we can prevent these seven dominating movement, movements which injure some organs twice and um, uh, how we can see that these movements are about to appear and how to prevent them uh, in patients. So what we can see here, here is the pulse map of the patient. Uh, she came to the clinic with the urinary infection after doing her uh, tests and yes, eventually she has the um, test shown that she has the urinary infection and what happens we can see this lung, heart, pancreas, liver, kidney they are actually on the place all the four organs, meridians large intestine, small intestine, stomach, gallbladder they are actually a little bit deficient but what we can see here, sandial and urinary bladder they are in excess so uh, it shows that there is definitely infection, something happened in urinary bladder and the Sandiao shows a, um, infection, some inflammation process. So what we can see in pulse map, actually we can see how this um, um, dominating movement they occur directly on the map. Um, we'll say for um, easier understanding we can see that uh, red can relate with the red, black can relate with the black, and the blue only with the blue. So what we can see here, the for example, large intestine receive dominating movement from the heart, and it's sent it directly to the liver. So, um, heart sent dominating movement to the large intestine and it goes directly to the liver. So, large intestine here is uh, which is affected and also liver when it receives the movement, liver receives its movement and send it directly to the stomach. So, liver sends this movement, this disease to the stomach. So, in our case, actually, two meridians here are most affected is the large intestine and liver. How we can see it? And we can see that fire sends the movement to the metal. From metal, it goes through the pancreas to the from the earth to the wood and from the wood it goes and affect again second time the earth but here is not actually the seven movement happened so what we can do we can provide the treatment treating actually large intestine and liver instead of treating the urinary bladder meridian. So uh, what we are doing here, we uh, treat, use the in the large intestine point of the fire and the um, heart meridian point of the fire and the liver meridian point of the liver is the, here is the wood and stomach meridian stomach is the, here is the wood so how it is going through and actually actually we add in the large intestine point of the earth and in the liver meridian point of the earth from large intestine go through the earth and from liver again it go back to the earth and what we can notice here that actually the system of the low meridian meridian 
has failed so um, we need to apply uh, also uh, uh, low point of the large intestine and lung and the low point of the liver and gallbladder straight away after the treatment patients start to feel better no pain and the next day she has not any pain after during the urination no pain in your lower back uh, she was feeling very well and in one week she returned to the clinic and what we can see the difference in her old snap so we see only stomach a little bit in deficiency and here is the San Ziao little bit in excess which shows is still some inflammation is happening here is the urinary bladder went from the highest point to the point where it supposed to be but what we can see here we can see here that heart with uh, his the movement with the San Ziao. so heart with the with the water San Ziao are urinary bladder because San Ziao has a connection with the urinary bladder and here is a liver with the stomach so liver with the stomach so what actually happens we see two movements which actually are not related to each other but what happened how these two movements they are going because actually the third movement is incubating so what we can see that liver dominating movement with the stomach and stomach possibly send its movement earth to the water and the water to the fire this kind of movement so what we can see if the stomach didn't uh, low meridian doesn't work so it will send directly to the kidney this possibility is and after that it works very well and this movement happened so possibly this meridian fails or from liver it comes to the stomach it filtrated through the low to the pancreas and the from pancreas it goes to the urinary bladder and from urinary bladder straight away go hurting the heart so possibly this also uh, is affected so what uh, we have in our pulse map that it's um, uh, we see only movement the water to the fire through the spleen and another one is from the wood to the earth wood to the earth these movements what we can see and what we believe another one is about to appear making this uh, uh, system start to work again long is between the earth and the water so if we will take previous one and put them together so we will have exact seven transformation which may have place here so what we can do we can actually prevent it and how we do it we use
use the the same way how we used here we use the treat the urinary bladder meridian which in this moment is still not affected at all but it may be and the stomach meridian so for stomach we will use the wood point and we will use the earth point because it will go through the earth and urinary bladder we will use uh, the actually uh, what we see here the sanzhao and the urinary bladder is the wood we will use the wood point because it's connecting through the heart in this uh, way and we will use also earth point and in the both meridians we will use the law to make the law start to working so in both cases it start to filter this uh, sp spleen in the stomach pancreas in the stomach and urinary blood and kidney law points so in this case we will prevent the, the this cycle which starts and we stopped here so it actually developed with the seven lateral movements when the disease become worse thank you